Hey there you guys, this is going to be um, a monthly reading for September 2017 and this is for all signs, okay, so all 12 signs, so whoever this message is for will resonate with this reading, okay, so I set the intention that this reading will resonate with any sign and who it's meant to reach, okay, alright, so this is will my ex come back to me, alright, so whoever is watching this reading um and if spirit brought you here hopefully this message resonates with you no matter what sign you are and what no matter no matter what sign your partner is this reading will resonate for you okay so this is september 2017 for those of of you who are seeking this guidance whether or not an ex will come back okay whether this is an ex husband wife partner love interest will this person come back around right so what is the past history of this connection. What is the past history of the mind spirit? Okay. All right. Present energy of this situation. What is the present? Okay. What is their situation? This is March, September 2017. Any cards you can't see, I will, of course, pull them up so you can see them. get into it you guys so so the first um, represents the past history of this connection so this could have been how it all started or this could have been something in the recent past that is significant you have the six of wands so I feel like it started off pretty heavy pretty passionately you saw them they saw you and it was like this instant um, attraction you know like sexual attraction you were very um beautiful very handsome whatever the, and you both saw each other in the best light i feel like you guys saw each other as like someone important or someone popular or someone with good energy good vibes and there was a lot of admiration for some of you they were very attracted to your um your backside i'm hearing like they were attracted to your backside they had a nice butt or you had a nice butt something like that um so there's a lot of sexual chemistry and attraction there and seeing each other in the best and highest light like this person's got it going on um i got it going on you know just at your height like you felt good you know physically physically they felt good about themselves physically you guys were just it was like a abundant time i feel might have met this person in the summer or just around a steamy type of year maybe valentine's day or something but it was it hit it it was a, a hot thing in the beginning so where is it at presently you have the page of wands so there's where it's at. I feel like maybe you're missing that person. There's a sexual um, energy that's coming up. Like I can't forget about this person because it was so hot and steamy. Like this person was like the finest thing ever. Um, you know, this was somebody that fulfilled my needs sexually or I had a lot of fun with even because the page of wands could be very fun, very spontaneous, very creative, outgoing, you know, so this is like the spark here. It was a lot of like fun and excitement that you had with each other. And it was a lot of sexual uh, energy there, like a lot of sex, I feel. Or you guys had great sex together, even. Or some sort of rendezvous that you guys just, you, you keep thinking about it with this person. I feel like that's where the energy is. But, like there's still an attraction that never died. That fire is still there. So if you want it, you can have it. Okay. 
um like that type of energy like it's always there because i'm always gonna have that sexual attraction to this person i feel like that's the energy so their current situation where your ex currently is is the magician so they're working on all types of stuff like they're working on their you know their career um their spirituality you know their emotion their emotional stuff they got going on you know keeping up i get that this person may be working out a lot like going to the gym he or she is maybe a gym rat like they like to work out or maybe they're just focusing on physical activities um this person is like doing some heavy like work in their life right now this person is doing some heavy manifesting i feel this person could even be um trying to attract the opposite sex like trying to make sure that they look good because they got this candle on the table and it's a woman and i feel like it's candle magic like a love spell and they might not be doing that literally but i feel like all of this working out and getting their mind right getting right spiritually emotionally getting their health together getting their finances together maybe trying to prep for somebody it could be you um we'll see how the rest of the cards pan out but it could also be just to the opposite sex he or she okay so that's where they're at. They got the magician. And I feel like spirit has got them in this space of if they're not working to attract lovers, they're just doing it naturally because I feel like spirit has them working on themselves anyway. Like you need to focus on yourself. Like you need to get yourself together, um, get your mind right, get, get yourself in a line, you know, I feel. So how do they feel about you how does the ex feel about you the six of pentacles this person is watching you with the six of pentacles he's in the background or you could be watching them they could feel like you still got it for them in a way like you're still checking on them they might feel that or it's the other way around they're checking on you and i and they they feel like you're still like you still got it you're very attractive it could be both ways because it's the six of pentacles so there's something balanced or something reciprocated so i feel like it goes both ways that you guys are checking on each other you guys might think that that person still looks good or um you know they might see that you're doing good for yourself you're doing better and that is attractive to them like you guys might have changed since the last time you got together i feel a lot of maturity might have happened so i feel like there's definitely some people watching each other checking you out um maybe contemplating making offers you both might be thinking about the other person and how you're going to approach them again um i i feel like a woman um a woman just is like if this is a woman, you get really turned on by this person and the memories of this person. You might even masturbate thinking about this person. And I know that sounds nasty and that sounds a little out there, but I have to call it as I see it. So I feel like there's this deep attraction you have for this person. I feel like this other individual just, just can't stop thinking about you either on a sexual level. I just get this strong sexual chemistry that just doesn't burn out and will not burn out and it's it's mutual because you have the six here and the six is a mutual um compatible number okay so how do they feel about reconciling with you this month you have the star so i feel like they're up to it if it's possible for some reason they feel like it's not possible like you know it would be nice to have it happen because they want to get with you again um she's pouring like milk or something on him milk and honey it looks like but to me that looks like semen or something <laughs> so this person um this this person definitely feels like it would be a dream to to have what you guys had again and get back together i don't know if this is going to be a long lasting thing because it's very sexually intense and it's not just because of the car's imagery it's just the energy that i'm picking up that this person is very attracted and you are very attracted i feel like they wouldn't mind you know they feel like if you're up to it because i feel like they don't know that you feel this way about them that you would want them back so they're saying to themselves if he or she is up for it then i'm up for it um but they feel like it might be something that just isn't possible like it just can't happen for some reason that you know that's that's a distant dream like that's something that can never happen i feel 
for a small few of you, I kind of feel like they're not even thinking about getting back together with you. They just like the idea of fantasizing about you and the what ifs and could be's and the sex that you guys shared and the attraction and the fun that you guys had. You guys might have been very spontaneous in the bed with food and having sex outdoors and stuff. So they might think about those things, but relationship could be far from their mind. But they might even be open to just sex, I feel, for some of you. Um, what can you do to help the situation? For you yourself, you have the two of wands. So I feel like what you can do to help the situation is, uh, I feel like you would have to acknowledge the fact that there is an attraction here and that you might still want this person and be open maybe to sharing that information with them because you might be playing around and not totally being honest with yourself or being honest with that person if you guys happen to still see each other like you guys might have a work situation or something where you have to see this person or have children together or something but you might be like footsieing around like not being honest and telling that person what you want and how you feel so I feel like spirit wants you to be honest, like you would help the situation by being honest about your feelings and what you want with this person. Maybe even being real and saying, maybe I just want sex with this person. Maybe I was just attracted to them. Maybe it was nothing more than just that, you know, maybe that is what you need to be honest with yourself about or with them. I would like, you know, a friends with benefits situation or see where this goes. All right. So how will you guys reconcile? Um, or will you guys reconcile? Sorry. So will you? Sorry about that. So I was interrupted. So the question is, will you <clears throat> reconcile for this month? And the answer is maybe. You got the seven of pentacles. So it just depends on if you're willing to go for it. Okay. Somebody has to make a move. Somebody, if you, if you want this to go in your favor if you want to see what it is you're going to have to go for it <clears throat> but you're going to have to utilize divine patience it might take some time with the seven of pentacles to make this happen so i feel like it it does require free will it's not a yes or a no answer it's a free will card it's a maybe based upon the actions that you both take whether one of you decides to make a move but it's going to take some patience um it's going to require dedication even i feel not a lot it's not like the chariot or anything but it does require patience because it is a pentacles card and the seven represents divine energy which i believe is divine timing <clears throat> in this situation so that is the reading i hope you've enjoyed it you guys all signs and i send you as much love much light until next month's reading peace